When Mark saw the nun standing alone on the deserted road, his heart clenched with conflicting emotions. On one hand, years of driving had taught him to be cautious, especially on such dangerous routes. On the other, the woman's tired face and apparent helplessness appealed to his humanity. Mark hesitated for only a moment before stopping his truck. He had no idea that this simple act of kindness would become the beginning of an amazing story that would not only change his life but also remind him of the power of compassion in a world where everyone struggles to survive. However, what awaited him ahead was far beyond his wildest expectations, and this night encounter was preparing something incredible for him. Mark hadn't always been a long-haul trucker. His path to the truck's steering wheel was winding and full of obstacles, a childhood overshadowed by his father's cruelty and his mother's silent. Consent forced young Mark to run away from home as soon as he finished school. Fate, however, smiled upon him, when on life's road he met an elderly trucker who saw potential in the runaway. Under the wing of his new mentor, Mark not only found a home but also a profession. By 22, he was already sitting behind the wheel of his own truck, ready to conquer America's roads. Life seemed to be improving. Marriage to the beautiful Cindy, the birth of four children, three boys and a girl. But happiness proved to be fragile. Complications during childbirth forced Cindy to leave work, and all responsibility for supporting the family fell on Mark's shoulders. Driven by the desire to provide his loved ones with everything necessary, he began to take additional shifts, ignoring fatigue and the need for rest. The pursuit of a better life led Mark and his friend to a risky decision to reduce sleep time to increase driving time and, consequently, earnings. This strategy seemed winning until one fateful night erased all plans. A second's loss of concentration, a micro-sleep at the wheel, and Mark's truck becomes involved in a terrible accident. His friend dies on the spot. Mark himself miraculously survives, but injuries knock him off course for a long time. Hospital bills eat up all savings, and the family that had recently lived in comfort finds itself on the brink of poverty. But Mark is not one to give up. Barely recovering from his injuries, he returns to the wheel. And it is during his first trip after the accident that fate presents him with an unexpected turn. A dark road, saving money on a hotel, plans to sleep in the cab, and suddenly a lone figure on the roadside. A nun asking for help. Instincts scream at Mark to drive past. He had heard many stories about traps for gullible drivers, but something in the woman's face makes him stop. Just to the nearest cabin, she says, climbing into his cab. The nun, wrapped in the offered blanket, quickly falls asleep, while Mark ponders the strangeness of the situation. Why is a nun on this road? And why does she need to go to the cabin, a well-known roadside strip club? At the club, the nun asks Mark to wait, promising that she only needs to pick something up. She returns not alone, with her is a drunk woman, and following them is a group of aggressively disposed men. Mark, realizing the danger of the situation, intervenes but finds himself surrounded. To get out of the situation, Mark has to give the bandits all his earned money. But even after this, he doesn't abandon the nun and her companion. Instead, following directions and driving them to a huge rehabilitation center, here the story takes an unexpected turn. The nun reveals to Mark that she is the heiress to a vast fortune which she uses to help women in difficult situations. She offers Mark a generous reward, a new truck, but he refuses, saying he helped selflessly. However, fate seems to have decided to reward Mark for his kindness. Almost home, he discovers in the pocket of the jacket he almost forgot at the nuns, an envelope with a large sum of money and a note. The world needs more men like you. This encounter not only solved Mark's financial problems, but also changed his outlook on life. He realized that even in the hardest times, one must not lose humanity and willingness to help others. Mark's story is a reminder that kindness and compassion can come from the most unexpected places, and that even in the most difficult situations, one must remain true to one's principles. His journey from a difficult childhood through trials and losses to an unexpected turn of fate shows how life can reward those who don't lose faith in people and are ready to lend a helping hand even to a stranger. Mark returned home to his family not only with money but also with renewed faith in humanity. His story spread among other truckers, becoming a kind of road legend. It reminded everyone that behind the wheel sit not just drivers but people with big hearts, ready to come to help in a difficult moment.
This night encounter on a deserted road became a turning point not only in Mark's life but for many others. The rehabilitation center, where he drove the nun and the rescued woman continued its important work, giving a chance for a new life to those who found themselves on the margins of society. And Mark continued to roll down the roads. But now, every time he passed by that very place where he met the nun, he smiled, remembering how one night can change an entire life.